This is Monday Night Live. Middle manager, 
come to where I live A rented room above a shop in Bethnal Green Forever It's a struggle and a 
Makes a man like near insane Done with the routine of Same commute, same dull entry And time's a precious thing When decades go in a blink The days go on and on No end Cause I'm bitter Times elapse and I remain buried in to a screen since I would this. Yes, I'm bitter. It's a struggle and a strain being him, fitting in day after day. The days go on and on, no ending song. Cause I'm bitter. Time's elapse and I remain buried in to a screen since I was thin. Yes, I'm bitter. It's a struggle and a strain.
Let the dreams of others drown your own Create a little space for the things you love Let the dreams of others drown your own Create a little space for the things you love
Brilliant. So you guys have been together for about six months. Six <laughs> no, about three years. About three, years. <laughs> three years now. Okay, brilliant. And how how do you feel like the dynamic of the band has changed since you guys first got together? So this is the second time you're at the shift. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, so even maybe since the last time you're here. We're slowing to now. down. Definitely, we're slowing down. We're easing ourselves towards retirement. <laughs> He's, 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 himself yeah. he's easing himself towards right. it. Now we're uh, yeah we 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 seem to be um, making progress you know progress. Um, I don't know how much progress we've made since uh, since last time we were here, but uh, it feels like it. We've done we've some more songs. Uh, we've got one new song. That's progress, isn't it? It's about quality, not quantity. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's we're we're about on. we're about to put all this quality down on one single LP. Do we still call them LPs or no? Yeah. Well, yeah. Where do we call them? <laughs> you can still call it an LP. Yeah. So that's the way that this is going. So. Glasses uh, are steaming up. <laughs> so emotional, such an emotional. There you go. Experience. There you go. <laughs> I'm the only one that was sweating the last. Well, it just, it just. Should. See, that's one of the improvements that's happened since you were last here. We have warmth oh, in yeah? the building. Yeah. All right. Okay. We yeah. can celebrate that. It's fine. <laughs> Brilliant. Just as well on the bitter night tonight, because it is bitter out there. Mm, well, it's going to yes. be minus seven, Probably isn't it? It's bitter. So all of our listeners in Brazil, all, 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 enjoy yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So um, I really enjoyed your guys' song, Forever Northern. Right. Oh. It was really good. Um, I don't know... Sadly, I missed you guys the last time you, you were here. I don't know what I was doing, um, but missing out apparently. Is that one that you performed last time or is that the first time that you've done it here for us here on the shift? I, I, can't. I don't think we did it last time. I don't no, think we, no, 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 we did. It's, it's so actually, uh, there's a very good version on YouTube of all, mm. all the uh, watchers and listeners want to have a, a look on YouTube for yeah, it, but okay. um, it's a particularly poignant video. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, it's one that we enjoy doing live because it's kind of a break from all the noise, you know. Mm. Yeah. And how did that song come about? Um, so, I didn't come about. I used to live down south, believe it or not. Okay. And I lived there for a while and it wasn't really that good. It was mm. a bit grim. Getting a bit deep now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, go on, George. Get deep. Uh, I want to get deep. deep. Uh, we want to record it. And it was about, it's just feeling a bit, it was especially. Um, a homage to want to come back home, basically, that's mm. what it is. And it was just uh, singing about the things that I was experiencing down there, the, the way I was feeling. Uh, wanting to get back north and thinking about the moors and things like that, really. But it's just basically a homesick song, that's what it is. But, yeah. but it was written down south. Okay. Yeah. So, that obviously was before you guys got together as a band. Mm. Yes. So how long were you holding on to that song before you introduced it to the guys, the rest of the guys? Uh, about, I don't know, a year. I, don't, I, wasn't, I didn't hold on to it at all, it was just uh, when we yeah. when we were writing it, when we were doing you, the, the stuff. You shot it, Burke first and then you shot yeah. it. Yeah, so because we and Joe have been sort of like 
mucking about writing songs since we were kids, really. So me and Joe were sort of, uh, so Joe had it years and years ago. Well, he was down south, he wrote it actually when he was down south. Mm. So when we got together as a band, it was already a song, but we didn't know whether we could do it live. It used to be very different than that. It was like, um, it was very sort of jolly kind of version of it, and it sort of, yeah. it didn't sort of fit the song really. So we we stripped it all back and sort of started to play it differently. But so the song's quite old really. But it's um, so it was introduced, I guess, as soon as we joined. As soon as Keith got our backsides in gear, really, and got us, uh, <laughs> <laughs> got us uh, doing our own stuff. So so yeah, it's, it's quite an old one, I guess. Yeah. Mm. You've not lived down south now for for years, have you? So it's kind of fine. Six years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing it with us tonight and being willing to. Be vulnerable with us in regards to <laughs> So, what's your guys' favourite song to perform at the moment? Oh, it's got to be shows and retweets on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So that's basically. I don't know if you listen to any of the lyrics in that song. That's uh, the experience of, of uh, having to tolerate rubbish bands. You know, when you, <laughs> <laughs> you do. <clears throat> you know, when you're doing gigs, you get on these uh, circuits or these bills with other acts, and mm. you know. To be fair, there's quite a few that are, you know, a bit rough around mm. the edges. So it's a little bit about experiencing that, but more in particular about the ones that I think are above the station a little bit. You think they're a bit more than what they are. I think mm. I think you can take the roughness. It's, it's not the roughness, is it? It's the uh, it's it's the ones that just sort of pick up a songbook, an Oasis songbook, and then start to write, you know, like that. Yeah. Or you know, there's 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 so many there's so many of those sort of derivative bands about that, you know. Um, that have to look a certain way and sound a certain way, and and uh, and it's just a, an homage to that sort of, you know. Yeah, well, it's a bit more of a shut up, you know. Yeah, not, <laughs> sure. not like yeah. a, oh, shut oh. up your face. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 Enough, <laughs> shut your mouth. You know. You're not as good as you think you are. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it's the shows. It's called shows and retweets, and it's about kind of that. Please like us, please share, mm. please. And it's kind of, I guess we're of that age, really, where it's still a bit new to us. Well, new to us, a bit kind of, a bit, well, not new, <laughs> new's not the right word. It's a little bit, it's hard for us to get our head around that, mm. that kind of culture, really, of please like us, give us a like. Of course, yeah. every other band's saying this about us. I absolutely agree with that, but it's, I think it comes, from, I think it comes from being northern, I think it comes from being where we're from. Yeah. And it's like that kind of sense of don't push it too much, otherwise you'll get it pushed back in your face, mm. kind of stuff. I think there's that attitude goes on, really. So, yeah. so we're aware that it's it's of our age group or our sort of... I think, I think it's, sentiments still, I think, I think it's still true that if, yeah, if yeah. a band's good enough and it gets out there, then it'll pick up followers and it'll, you know, it'll, yeah. you know, it'll, it'll you know, make its own way, rather than having to beg for people to like and to share. And, you know, it, it doesn't happen, really, does it? If, you, if you're trying too hard, it never happens, so, you know. And a lot it's of magic. <laughs> People try to make it a formula, but there's not. No, it's magic no, dust. No, no. <laughs> and you kind of think that the bands who were around, maybe when we were teenagers, you know, or so many years ago, that the that, that, you know the, the top bands then, you know, would still be the top bands now. They they would still have something about them that would make them, mm. you know, social media or no social media, they would they would still rise to the top. You know. Yeah. Do you guys feel like the fact that you've you've only been a group for about three years, but um, part of what sets you apart is is how it kind of came about and the idea of, of being a bit older as individuals um, versus like the teenagers that are getting into it. Do you think that the fact that you guys know who you are as individuals helps to define the content and your sound and where the band is going? Yeah, we definitely, the stuff that we write about is different to what, like I said, the younger bands would write about. You know, the sort of experience that we have, I've, you know, working in an office for the last 20 years, mm. having a mortgage. Uh, <laughs> the 45 year mortgage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do any of you have one of them? No, 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 no. Well, they used to be, they used to exist, yeah. believe it or not. You probably don't believe that, but they used to exist, yeah. Oh, I believe it. In America, I believe it. <laughs> um, all the people you tolerate in work as well, you know, there's quite a few songs that we've got that are mm. about certain mm. individuals. That uh, uh, you know, not, not very. Have you told them? No. We wrote a song about you. <laughs> no. Um, Real marriage is one example of that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is, mate. It is. Does that answer your question? Sorry. Yeah, no, that's oh, fine. That was, that was <laughs> Just if you wanted to keep that, going, that would be fine that, as well. That was a very good question. By yeah. Way. yeah. Um, um, so, office recluse. Is that about one of you guys, or is that about somebody that you worked with? Uh, it's about. Uh, it's, I guess it's, I don't, yeah, I'm going to say it. It's did, a general did, did, feeling that you have, you know, when you work in the office. It's not specifically about one of those guys or anybody that we know. 
but it could be one of those guys. Did you get Did you get the drift of the lyrics all the way through that? Because it's kind of it, it starts off. Very dark. Know, yeah, it's a bit dark, and in the end, basically, the guy you know takes out an AK forty seven or whatever comes to hand, you know, and, and you know goes postal basically. Yeah. I, I did pick up that there was a gun involved, <laughs> but I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it went, okay, it did we went, condone, yeah, no, 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 okay. no. <laughs> so it wasn't quite all the way, fair enough, okay, that makes sense. But well, there's been quite a few incidents around, you know, well, the term going postal mm. comes from yeah. those kind of incidents, right, people going in, getting aggravated in office and, or working in, well, it was a post office, wasn't it? For the, yeah, in the first yeah. Ones. Going in and just, uh, you know, uh, saying the muck. Enough already. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, places like I can, you know. But people, people have like minor meltdowns every day, don't they? It doesn't necessarily mm. have to be the, the full on, you know. He's looking at me very weird now. <laughs> <laughs> we got, yeah. Google it, Jack. Mm. It's real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but, but people have meltdowns in offices yeah. every day. I mean, you know. You can see CCTV images of people, you know, all of a sudden they'll pick up a computer keyboard and just throw it across the room and things like that, which is, you know. I don't know many songs that's got two faced snidey backstabbers. Is quite, I don't know, does it rhyme with anything? I'm not sure, but it does, mm. but it's, you know, that sort of two faced snidey backstabbers. That, that lyric seems to stick out for me mm. in the song. And I, I really enjoy singing it because it's like you can really, it depends what sort of mood you're in. Yeah. Um, you can really sort of get stuck into that, really, so it's, uh, it's nice. And it's a northern thing as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as you guys have been pursuing your music, has that then eliminated the need to, to be in these office spaces? Or is that still something that you do and this is kind of like the outlet to, <laughs> to be able to manage it without going postal? Yeah. <laughs> we, we, re we really wish it had eliminated it, but it hasn't. Now, <laughs> Unfortunately. No, we're all still grafting. We've all still got our own office. Nine to five. Yeah. Mm. I think you have to have a million seller these days to actually, you know, to, to actually make a career out of it and, and uh, you know and even then you still have to keep touring just to keep you know because everybody downloads stuff for, for free and um, yeah <laughs> and uh, no, not that they should of course mm. not, but um, so I guess it's harder and harder isn't it to sort of you know especially for newish bands to break through and actually make make a living although we rehearsed next to a band who's actually done that very thing who would that be in? Blossoms of, of uh, oh, being right. rehearsed in the same building oh, yeah. of course they've Broken through. They've in, blossomed. In, they've blossomed. <laughs> yeah. Do you know that the entire. What? <laughs> Members of Blossoms, they're all 15. <laughs> That's a true fact. They're all 15. And collectively, they all weigh about eight stores. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen them. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, they Fun are. facts for today. Yeah. They are very skinny. <laughs> crazy. Well, so you guys are getting ready to put out your LP, as you said. We are. Yes. Or put it down, yeah, start okay. recording it. Well, we, we, we <laughs> You're getting ready to start recording it. Right. No, no, no. no, no we we we've no, got no, a few no. tracks already recorded. We're just going to go in and finish yeah, it off, yeah. basically. So that's all. Brilliant. Really? Yeah. Is there an ETA for this to be uh, in, uh, in stores uh, for you know, Christmas June. number one? About 45 years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Due summertime this year. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna finally kind of do it. It's just finding the time. We work. We've got kids. Mm. We've got wives. We've got children. So it's kind of so it's uh, just finding the time really. That's that's the thing. So we've got the songs. We've got the you know we've got the inclination. We just haven't got the time yet. So we'll we'll, we'll get there. And who knows? Maybe maybe the the big hit is still is still that's to be written. Nice. Yeah. Could be. Could be. I think so. We've, like I said, we've just recorded shows and retweets and it sounds really, really good. Brilliant. We're really happy with it, but it, like I said, it might be the next song we saw mm. coming all the time, aren't we, Joe? Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I really, I really like the, the way that you guys express yourselves and, and the sound that, that goes with it. So, um, I do hope that we get to, to hear more of you, that you guys are able to find the time to continue with that. For those people who maybe want to follow you guys and see you live, um, you have some upcoming gigs, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Uh, we've got a gig in February supporting Dodgy. For the you remember them, Dodgy. If it's good enough for you, yeah. staying up and stumble. Um At Upper Mill Civic Hall in Oldham. Okay. Um, Tickets are on sale now. They're only ten pounds. Is that right? Yeah. Three bands, ten pounds. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Dodgy are the main act. Uh, but uh, yeah, ten ten squids. 
and you know, and it's a nice venue, blah blah blah. It's going to be a good night. And then other than that, we're at the Tommy Field next. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, we um, well, our first ever gig was you know it was kind of a ramshackle affair. Um, we went and, and played a, a small pub in in Oldham, just just you know. And apparently um, they have a video YouTube jukebox or something. Is that right? Yeah. So they, it's, this is a pub in Oldham Town Centre, mm -hmm. and apparently they, they play quite a few of our videos on the. Uh, so we get requested, which is which was quite nice by the punters. Yeah. So uh, so they asked us to go and play again. So how could you refuse? You know? Yeah. yeah. So For all your fans. Yeah. All, yeah. Our, all our fans. All our fans. three fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The great thing is, it's, in a, it's an afternoon gig as well. Yeah. Oh it's really? Afternoon. Yeah. Which we, and it brings in all kinds of people. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. We'll, we'll just nice leave it. We'll leave it there. Be mm. Something normal with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's before it's bedtime. Sing as well. Yeah, that's yeah. the one fun. <laughs> yeah. And straight after, there's a karaoke as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With a mobile dare or something. Mobile dare. Oh, it's yeah. Ian, I think. It's mobile dare. Mobile, mobile, mobile Ian. So yeah. come listen to your songs and then you can sing yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. karaoke, that'd be a dream, that wouldn't it? So my songs on a karaoke. Well, that would be good. That's why it's fantasy though. That's singing as well. Like. New dream. <laughs> you can sing your own songs on karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you guys again so much for coming. So you guys, I'm assuming, update your Facebook page with your new gigs and, and band information and yes. yeah, we things do. like yes. that. Honest, we do. <laughs> Website, Website smashinglads.com. Yeah. If you want to go in and have a look. And Facebook, obviously on Facebook and Twitter and things like that. Yeah. SoundCloud. We're on SoundCloud. We're on Thank SoundCloud, yeah. There's quite yeah. a few demos. Bandcamp. Bandcamp. No, we haven't done Bandcamp, have we? No, no. not Bandcamp. Oh, SoundCloud. Okay. No, Just SoundCloud. Look up SoundCloud. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. Wonderful. Again, thank you guys for coming. If you missed any of the podcast or the performance tonight, you can go on to www.theshiftradiostation.com, download the podcast, um, and listen to it over and over again, or you can go on to The Shift TV um, and watch it again on YouTube. They can request the whole thing. 45 minutes of you guys. YouTube roulette or whatever it is. <laughs> But, um, so enjoy, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to Smashing Lads. We enjoyed having them here Thanks. and have a warm evening. Thank you. Cheers.